Hi everyone, now it's week three of Drawing Request. Lani Justin, who took part in last week's video, I'll try and link him below, picked this week's comment and he chose Karata Sons, which was a squirrel on a panda's head while the panda is fighting a dragon. <laughs> so not too complicated. <laughs> I'm also trying out something that I mentioned briefly in last week's video where I'm picking a random art movement from a list I've made and I'm going to depict this request in this style. So as you can see it picked Impressionism and Impressionism is a bit of a broad term <laughs> so it spanned quite a long period of time. It's a 19th century art movement and it kind of coincides with two big developments which kind of altered how art really would ever look to be honest in the future. One of them is cameras. Cameras were starting to become far more common and their ability to just easily depict a perfectly realistic scene kind of brought into question what art should really be and that kind of question resonated a lot with artists at the time of how do we make this something unique? to photography, of creating something perfectly realistic, how do we alter that? And also a big change as well was paint was starting to be produced differently. It was able suddenly for them to be able to more easily take it outside and so landscape painting and being able to just work outdoors became a lot easier too. So you can see both of those things starting to affect this painting style at the time. And so Impressionism really is this idea of being very loose, of showing a scene more for its feeling and for the expression in the scene, rather than trying to make something really detailed and realistic, which kind of <laughs> goes into contrast a little bit with this topic. It's such a specific idea and adventure that it's a little bit hard to add loads and loads of detail to it, but I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> now, the trouble is, I was planning on just doing a very close-up image, and I think that would have been the more sensible route. However, because Impressionism is so based on landscape, I knew I wanted to try and add more of a scene to it, which means I can't really go into the detail I want because that's just not going to be there. But I hope you can still get an idea of what's going on. <laughs> Another large thing that you'll notice when you look at Impressionist art is they don't really use blacks. It's very hard to see a very black and white image. It's always very like mid-tones. They use a lot of paler colours and they always blend things with greys and browns. You can see a lot of muted colours when they work, in general obviously. <laughs> so that also kind of made it a little difficult to portray a panda because <laughs> I didn't want to use black so I tried to stick with darker blues and darker reds in this one to show those darker hues in what really I think I usually would have done in a very contrasted way. So it's just a lot of fun like you can just be so loose and like just like yeah you know I'm just gonna do this here I'm just gonna do that there like it's a much more exciting way to paint in a lot of ways just to give a general idea of where something's going and try and almost get the movement of the brush stroke to evoke the movement in the image. So yeah, I'm just I had a lot of fun painting this piece and kind of playing with colour and the texture of it as well. I moved to an acrylic paint you might have noticed in this one and that's because the impressionist painting style is often about like a, a thicker paint just clashing against another. They didn't really water down anything. And I think that's again another rejection of earlier art movements where so many early art movements, when they're based on such a realistic design, you build up layer on layer on layer and that gives you so much shade and a lot more interest to the piece. Whereas this is kind of like, no, just get the paint on the page and just see how it all works against each other. And so I was trying to get that feeling in this piece too. When I originally started this, I was thinking, oh, I'll go like a Monet style, like, you know, go really like lighter colours and do something like that. But the second I started getting that panda down, I started thinking, no, I kind of want to do much more contrasted colours. So I think I started early movement and I ended up in the late movement of Impressionism within about 10 seconds. But I did try and keep some more muted tones when it came to the sky and some areas of the landscape, just so that your eye was more drawn to the main scene of the panda and the squirrel and the, <laughs> and the dragon. I think the thing I found hardest to do in this style was restricting myself to not adding extra detail. When I was starting to get to the end of this, I thought, maybe I should just get my pen out for a minute <laughs> and try and add a little bit extra detail, but it's just not there, it's not in the style. And 
In a lot of ways, that was a very freeing experience that I had to deal with the fact that this was the end. This was the end point. It reminds me of that saying, you know, no art is finished, it's just abandoned. And I felt like that a little bit, but it's a lot harder with this style to know when it's done. You just kind of have to feel it. All of it's just about feeling. And you just have to stop. One moment, you just have to stop. It just, it, you just reach a moment where it has ended and you can just feel that the piece is over. But it feels almost like a more interactive piece, which is a, a really odd way of saying it, but it, it feels more based on expression. <laughs> Drawing requests is already a very freeing experience every week, but somehow I think adding it with impressionism has really taken it another step beyond. So this piece is coming to an end, and I just want to talk briefly about the person who came up with this week's prompt, and that is Karasan. Karasan's got a really good channel. She took on multiple challenges last month. I don't know how she found the time, but she created loads of really good work, and there's a lot of good humour in her videos. She has a nice mix of traditional and digital artwork too, so, so definitely check her out. I'm going to leave a link to her channel in the description below. And that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this week's drawing request. And if you can think of an idea to rival Karatasons, make sure you leave a comment underneath. See you again next week.